There has been one character that has secretly got more and more buffed throughout the patches, and I think this last buff in 7.0 is going to put her over the edge, and that is going to be Sheik. I think Sheik is an incredibly good character, and the 7.0 buffs kind of put this character back on the map, you know, as Zero would say, and I just think she's really good, so in the other videos just as well, I am going to go over the buffs really quickly, and then each of them individually, and then where I put Sheik right now in the meta, because I do think she is an incredibly strong character who has a lot of options now. She's still very difficult and very high risk, high reward, but she's pretty good. So her down smash is faster and also connects better, which is nice, because that move had a lot of people falling out. Grab is now bigger, which of course, bigger is always better for grab ranges. Uh, neutral special being needles have less landing lag so you use them in the air and you land with them they have less lag and that is going to be very important uh side special or you know the, the grenade you can't ping with it and also it lingers longer and also it has slightly less landing lag when you are landing that one's going to be the least important buff of the three buffs in terms of the side b but still pretty important overall and now up b her vanish is going to be weaker and of course she got the shield buff which a lot of other characters did and as i mentioned i don't really think it's that big of a deal so we'll just mark that one off already down smash being faster is honestly really nice because it is very slightly disjointed if you look at the hitbox of it. So if a character that doesn't have a great descending hitbox, think of like Mario or something like that, uh, tries to land on top of you, you can down smash if you aren't in the horizontal position to get an up smash, which would obviously be the best anti-air that Sheik has. But down smash, really strong, going to connect more reliably, which is nice again on those anti-air hits because that's a lot of times when people would fall out, which is really unfortunate because if you land that move as Sheik, I feel like you kind of deserve it because it's really, really hard to land down smash although now I'm pretty sure there are a couple combos into it um, after the like first patch a while ago but also there's just no reason to use it over forward smash because forward smash connects really reliably and is stronger as far as I'm aware so out of a combo you're not really going to down smash but it can be used as an anti-air or like parry down smash because it hits both sides as opposed to forward smash or forward till you have to pick a side but down smash covers both therefore it will be a lot more consistent of a punish and I think it always sends forward so if you parry someone's like get up attack at the ledge and you're not sure what side you're going to go to just charge down smash and get that kill it again it is very strong it'll probably kill light characters at like 100 to 105 percent with no rage um maybe like 110 115 i might be exaggerating a little bit uh just because like charging of down smash but i think that moves pretty good not as useful as her other smash attacks but still quite strong so the buff is going to be nice grab being bigger is just all around a quality of life change i know when i got it with pika i've been getting a lot more standing grabs you're going to have a lot more shield grabs you can whiff punish things with grab a little better or like not like with punish i guess because that's typically going to be dash grab but like if you space your fair and someone tries to throw a move out to punish you then you like walk up and grab i think that can definitely happen a lot more now considering Sheik's spacing in the air is very good but speaking of spacing in the air we need to talk about needles because needles are by far the best buff that Sheik got Having less landing lag when you do needles now allows Sheik to just kind of throw needles whenever she wants if she has a somewhat full stack. It says it's minus 15 on ultimate frame data, but from playing the character, it does not feel that way. It definitely feels safer than that. I might just be crazy. Or also, again, you can throw needles from so far away that a minus 15 move is basically unpunishable by the entirety of the cast. Because, like, if you can outrange, like, Wolf up smash or, like, Krom up B, which you can with needles because it's obviously a projectile, that is going to make it super difficult to punish. So, minus 15, if that is true it's still completely fine with that's the case and the landing needles give you so much obviously it already gave you up smash but now it's easier to get up smash now you get forward smash on fast fallers or semi fast fallers or at lower percent to hit people completely off stage again you can just kind of harass people with short hop instant needles or short hop wait a little bit instant needles which then if people want to counter that they have to like shield it really quickly or like dash to you and hit you but if you don't do needles that's going to leave you susceptible to a fair or if the needles don't come out and you shield it preemptively because you think they're going to do an instant one then they just do a landing forwarder which is going to be very safe so the mix-ups that this character has in neutral now are staggering like i think this aerial needle buff is a big deal i've seen void be playing and he just throws it out all the time it seems incredibly strong so it seems like just a good option again you get a lot of confirms you can get forward tilt you can get jump up air at higher percents into like drag down down smash i'm pretty sure you can just get it into back air forward air uh it's just it's just really good it is one of the single best buffs that I have seen in 7.0, so Sheik is going to get a lot off of it. 
And the side B being better, like, I don't, I think this is like one of the least influential buffs that she got because I really do think that uh, it's kind of like similar to Din's Fire where there's very few setups to actually hit people with it unless they have to air dodge, um, you know, to save themselves from dying in the bubble. But if that's the case, you can probably just bounce and fish them or something because side B, like, it's still good. You can kind of air dodge it though. Obviously, if you don't have air dodge, as I mentioned, that's a worse deal. But like air dodging through that, like, it's still going to be laggy enough that you are like it's only like two or three frames which isn't going to be enough to really make a difference in pressure situations because again you can't just throw out needles to try to get bouncing fast you can't just do frame traps with like fares and up airs and things like that or you know ledge trapping and things like that you don't have to go for the grenade the grenade will obviously be nice because like let's say you do like full hop fair to kind of dissuade someone from coming at you near the ledge then you drift back do side b because they grab the ledge it forces someone off and makes your edge trapping a little bit better especially considering you can't ping with it anymore which i didn't even know you couldn't ping with it i just thought that like I just never I never tried to swing at it so the buff that it got is kind of like okay well this makes sense now like it makes sense that you can't ping with it so like I'm fine with that but so maybe it's going to be a little more useful than I realized but I just haven't really seen Sheik's go for side B that much so maybe I just am undervaluing this buff. So yeah, I think Sheik's buffs are just really, really good. Again, her damage output is really good, and people will always say, I've heard it so many times, oh my god, but like, you can do that amount of damage with like two moves of Ganondorf or three moves as insert character, but like, Sheik's moves are all safe on shield. Her frame data is ridiculous. Like, I want to just read the safety of her aerials to you, just like back to back to back. Nair is minus three, forward air is minus two, back air is minus four, up air is minus 11 or minus 10, and down air, of course, being her worst arrow is going to be minus 18 but minus four minus three minus two you cannot mess with those moves so she has completely safe combo starters that lead to 30 to 50 percent depending on what character you are you're off stage you're getting edge trapped this character does so so much damage the obvious main flaw of this character was the fact that she struggled to kill but i think the aerial needle buff is going to help that a lot because again needles into bouncing fish is easier needles into back air needles into up smash needles into forward smash needles into forward tilt into drag down up air into forward smash is going to be easier like there are so many changes now that this character has i remember i got a clip a while ago like when the buffs first came out of like needles forward tilt drag down upper on a platform forward tilt up air and it kills if you have a certain amount of rage and that was with like a landing bear or something like that so it was no sorry it was landing bear jump needle f tilt up air f tilt up air which was really really good and that kind of stuff can just happen she can make stocks explode and Sheik is just a really really strong character now like i wouldn't put her in top tier but i do think she is incredibly scary because unless you have really really good pairing or incredible out of shield options that are also unpunishable which is very few characters if any characters then like Sheik is going to be able to have that mid-range against you of course needles being an amazing for projectile to harass people. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but it's still good to just get your pot shots over and over and over again. You know, six, eight, 10% adds up over time, and then it's going to allow Sheik to, have, to need less neutral interactions, be able to throw people off stage, put them in her threatening positions because of Needle's Bouncing Fish, because of her edge guarding in general. You know, her edge trapping is still incredibly strong because of Nair into Bouncing Fish, and just her ability to cover multiple options because she's fast. So, I don't know, this character seems really, really strong. I don't understand why people have been sleeping on this character. Obviously, the representation of this character is slightly stunted because not a ton of people play Sheik, Void being the main pioneer that I think and also Boyd is a co-main with like Sheik and Pichu and Joker sometimes and Daisy when he wants to. So it's not like a solo main type of, you know, player for him. But like, it's still Sheik, especially now, like I've seen him play a lot of Sheik. I think this makes her matchups a lot better because it makes the mid-range a lot easier against a ton of characters because they have to worry about needles so much more frequently, which is going to allow her to, as I mentioned earlier, get landing fares, landing nares on shield, which you have to respect, especially because her jab is so fast. It's going to allow her to get empty jump grabs it's going to allow so much for this character so i honestly think that Sheik is a solid high tier now maybe like 25 to 30 area because again 15 characters are top tier probably like 25 characters are high tier i think that was on my last tier list so it's a ton of good characters in this game but i do think Sheik is definitely one of them she is back on the map and i am just worried for the Sheiks that are going to start tearing apart tournaments because again she does have like pretty good matchup spread as well i think she does well versus the sword characters well versus rob well versus joker probably maybe not joker actually but like can contest with a lot of good characters i wouldn't know 100 percent the matchup chart because i'm not a chic player again you can go to void for that and i'm going to link his twitter down below if in case you aren't following him and his twitch so you can go watch him because he is absolutely sick and i believe will put chic 
for sure like in higher tournament results because of these buffs and yeah that's going to be about it for this one i hope you all enjoyed let me know what you think down below again i really just think this character is insane now like not top tier insane because i don't really think characters get buffed to top tier in this game but still really solid contender for tournament play now great counterpick great character to play her mobility is insane this is gonna be good and yeah social media panda and partner stuff is down below and i will see you all next time Bye.